Fianafoil, Fianafoil, meaning soldiers of destiny or warriors of full, officially Fianafoil, the Republican Party, is a conservative political party in Ireland. The party was founded as an Irish Republican Party on March 23, 1926 by Eamon de Valera and his supporters after they split from Sinn Féin on the issue of abstentionism, in the aftermath of the Irish Civil War. Fianna Foyle has since 1927 been one of Ireland's two major parties, along with Fianna Gael, both are seen as being centre-right parties, and as being to the right of the Labour Party and Sinn Féin. The party dominated Irish political life for most of the 20th century, and since its foundation either it or Fianna Gael has led every government. Between 1989 and 2011, it led coalition governments with parties of both the left and the right. Fianna Fáil was last in government from 1997 to 2011 under Bertie Ahern and Brian Cohen, with a periodic high of 81 seats in 2002, reduced to 77 in 2007 and then to 20 in 2011, the lowest in the party's history. Having won 44 seats at the 2016 general election, Fianna Fáil is currently the largest opposition party in bot houses, Doyle Aaron and Sean Aaron, of the Erectus with party leader Mikhail Martin entering into a confidence and supply arrangement with the Fianna Gael-led minority government at the beginning of the 32nd Doyle. Fianna Foyle is a member of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe and of Liberal International. The party is also organized in Northern Ireland and intends to run in local government elections there for the first time in 2019. Fianna Foyle was founded by Eamon de Valera, a former leader of Sinn Féin. He and a number of other members split from Sinn Féin when a motion he proposed, which called for elected members to be allowed to take their seats in Doyle Aaron if and when the controversial oath of allegiance was removed, failed to pass as Sinn Féin Artfeis in 1926. The party adopted its name on 2nd of April of the same year. While it was also opposed to the treaty settlement, it rejected abstentionism, instead aiming to republicanize the Irish Free State from within. Fianna Fáil's platform of economic autarky had appeal among the farmers, working-class people and the poor, while alienating more affluent classes. The party first entered government on March 9, 1932. It was in power for 61 of the 79 years between then and the election of 2011. Its longest continuous period in office has been 15 years and 11 months, March 1932, February 1948. Its longest single period out of office in the 20th century was four years and four months, March 1973, July 1977. Seven of the party's eight leaders have served as Taoiseach. Fianna Fáil joined the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe, ALDE, party on April 16, 2009, and the party's members of the European Parliament, MEPS sat in the ALDE group during the seventh European Parliament term from June 2009 to July 1, 2014. The party is an observer affiliate of the Liberal International. It was the largest party in the Doyle after every general election from that of 1932 until that of 2007. In the 2011 general election it suffered the worst defeat off a sitting government in the history of the Irish state. This loss was described as historic in its proportions, and unthinkable. The party sank from being the largest in the Doyle to the third largest, it won 20 seats, compared to its previous performance of well over 60 seats at every election since 1932. Fianna Fáil's success was credited by the Irish Times to its local structure. The basic unit was the Cumann, branch, these were grouped into Cumhair Leishantair, district branch, and a Cumhair Doyle C and Hair, constituency branch, in every constituency. At the party's height it had 3,000 cumming, an average of 75 per constituency. The party claimed 55,000 members in 2004, a figure which political scientist Owen O'Malley considers exaggerated compared to a membership figures for other parties. However, from the early 1990s onward the common structure was weakened. Every common was entitled to three votes to selection conventions irrespective of its size, hence, a large number of cumane had became in effect paper cumane, the only use of which was to ensure an aspiring or sitting candidate got enough votes. Another problem had arisen with the emergence of parallel organizations grouped around candidates or elected officials. Supporters and election workers for a particular candidate were loyal to a candidate and not to the party. If the candidate were to leave the party, through either resignation, retirement or defeat at an election, the candidate's supporters would often depart. Although this phenomenon was nothing new the most famous example being Neil Blaney's Donegal Mafia, 
it increased significantly from the early 1990s, particularly in the Dublin region with former Taoiseach Bertie Ahern's Drum Condra Mafia and the groups supporting Tom Kidd and Seamus Brennan in Dublin South that were largely separate from the official party structure. Since the 2007 election, the party structure has significantly weakened. This was in part exacerbated by significant infighting between candidates in the run-up to the 2011 general election. The Irish Times estimated that half of its 3,000 Cumaine were effectively moribund. This fraction rose in Dublin with the exception of Dublin West, the former seat of both Brian Lenihan Sr. and Brian Lenihan Jr. Fianna Foyle is seen as a typical catch-all party. R. Ken Carty wrote of Fianna Foyle and Fianna Gael that they were heterogeneous in their bases of support, relatively undifferentiated in terms of policy or program, and remarkably stable in their support levels. Evidence from expert surveys, opinion polls and candidate surveys all failed to identify strong distinctions between the two parties. Many point to Ireland's civil war politics, and feel that the basis for the division is the disagreement about the strategy to achieve a united Ireland. Kevin Byrne and political scientist Owen O'Malley rejected these, and have argued that the differences between the two parties goes much further back in Irish history. They link the parties to different nationalist traditions Irish Enlightenment and Gaelic Nationalist, which in turn could be linked to migrations of Anglo-Norman and New English into Ireland and the native Gaelic population. Fianna Foyle is seen as conservative but also as a nationalist party. It has presented itself as a broad church, and attracted support from across disparate social classes. Between 1989 and 2011, it led coalition governments with parties of both the left and the right. Fianna Fáil's platform contains a number of enduring commitments, to Irish unity, to the promotion and protection of the Irish language, and to maintaining Ireland's tradition of military neutrality. Distinctly more populist, nationalist and, generally speaking, more economically interventionist than Fianna Gael. The party nonetheless shares its rival's support off the European Union in opposition to physical force republicanism. The party's name and logo incorporates the words the Republican Party. According to Fianna Foyle, Republican here stands both for the unity of the island and a commitment to the historic principles of European Republican philosophy, namely liberty, equality and fraternity. Although the posts of leader and party president of Fianna Foyle are separate, with the former elected by the Parliamentary Party and the latter elected by the Archives, thus allowing for the posts to be held by different people, in theory, in practice they have always been held by the one person. However, as the Archives may have already been held in any given year by the time a new leader is elected, the selection of the new party president might not take place until the next year. The following are the terms of office as party leader and as Taoiseach. Fianna Fáil's youth wing is called Ogre Fianna Foyle. Formed in 1975, it plays an active role in recruiting new members and supporting election campaigns. Ogroa also plays an important role in the party organization, where it has five representatives on the Ardsham Harrell, National Executive. Senator Thomas Byrne was the last nominated head or Kathawa Leach, chairperson, of Ografina Foil, before the youth wing introduced widespread organizational reform following the heavy electoral defeat suffered by the whole party in 2011. On September 17, 2007, Fianna Foyle announced that the party would for the first time organize in Northern Ireland. The then Foreign Minister Dermot Ahern was asked to chair a committee on the matter. In the period ahead Dermot Ahern will lead efforts to develop that strategy for carrying through this policy, examining timescales and structures. We will act gradually and strategically. We are under no illusions. It will not be easy. It will challenge us all. But I am confident we will succeed. The party embarked on its first ever recruitment drive north of the border in September 2007 in northern universities, and established two political societies, the William Drennan Cummins in Queen's University, Belfast, and the Wadi Graham Cummins in Uumagi, Derry, which subsequently became official units of Fianna Fáil's youth wing, attaining full membership and voting rights, and attained official voting delegates at the 2012 Art Heist. Bertie Ahern announced on December 7, 2007 that Fianna Foyle had been registered in Northern Ireland by the UK Electoral Commission. The party's Art Heist in 2009 unanimously passed a motion to organise in Northern Ireland by establishing forums, rather than Cumaine, in each of its six counties. In December 2009, Fianna Foyle secured its first Northern Assembly MLA when Jerry McHugh, an independent MLA, announced he had joined the party. Mr. McHugh confirmed that although he had joined the party, he would continue to sit as an independent MLA. In June 2010, 
Fianna Foyle opened its first official office in Northern Ireland, in Crossmaglen, County Armagh. The then Taoiseach Brian Cohen officially opened its office, accompanied by Ministers Eamon O'Keefe and Dermot Ahern and Deputies Rory O'Hanlon and Margaret Conlon. Discussing the party's slow development towards all Ireland politics, Mr. Cohen observed, We have a very open and pragmatic approach. We are a constitutional Republican Party and we make no secret of the aspirations on which this party was founded. It has always been very clear in our mind what it is we are seeking to achieve, that is to reconcile this country and not being prisoners of our past history. To be part of a generation that will build a new Ireland, an Ireland of which we can all be proud. There has been speculation about an eventual merger with the Social Democratic and Labour Party, SDLP, formerly the main Irish Nationalist Party in Northern Ireland, but now smaller than Sinn Féin. This has been met with a negative reaction from Seamus Mallon, former deputy leader of the SDLP, who stated he would be opposed to any such merger. Former leader of the SDLP Margaret Ritchie likewise stated publicly that she opposed any merger, announcing to the Labour Party conference that such a merger would not happen on her watch. At the 2010 Irish Labour Party conference she further criticized Fianna Fáil's record in government, and also the National Asset Management Agency on February 23, 2008, it was announced that a former UUP councillor, Colonel Harvey Bicker, had joined Fianna Fáil. Fianna Foyle has registered with the UK Electoral Commission and is a recognised party in Northern Ireland. However, it has not contested any elections in Northern Ireland. At the party's 2014 Ardhuis, a motion was passed without debate to stand candidates for election north of the border for the first time in 2019. On November 13, 2015 Ogre Fianna Foyle for the first time ever held their National Youth Conference in Northern Ireland, in New Ray. In 2017, Olma councillor Sorka McConaughey said she wished to run in the 2019 Northern Ireland local government election in the constituency under a Fianna Foyle ticket. In October 2017 she was elected as Northern representative on the party's national executive, the Committee of 15. In the European Parliament from 1999 to 2009, Fianna Foyle was a leading member of Union for Europe of the Nations, UEN, a small national conservative and eurosceptic parliamentary group. European political commentators had often noted substantive ideological differences between the party and its colleagues, whose strongly conservative stances had at times prompted domestic criticism of Fianna Foyle. Fianna Foyle MEPs had been attached to the European Progressive Democrats, 1973-1984, European Democratic Alliance, 1984-1995, and Union for Europe, 1995-1999, groups before the creation of UN. Party headquarters, over the objections of some MEPs, had made several attempts to sever the party's links to the European right, including an aborted 2004 agreement to join the European Liberal Democrat and Reform ELDR, party, with whom it already sat in the Council of Europe under the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe ALDE, banner. On February 27, 2009, Taoiseach Brian Cohen announced that Fianna Foyle proposed to join the ELDR party and intended to sit with them in the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats for Europe, ALDE, group in the European Parliament after the 2009 European election stopped the change was made official on April 17, 2009, when FF joined the ELDR party. In October 2009, it was reported that Fianna Foyle had irritated its new liberal colleagues by failing to vote for the motion on press freedom in Italy resulting in its defeat by a majority of one in the parliament, and by trying to scupper their party colleagues' initiative for gay rights. In January 2010, a report by academic experts writing for the VoteWatch.eu site found that FF do not seem to toe the political line of the Aldi group when it comes to budget and civil liberties issues. In the 2014 European elections, Fianna Foyle received 22.3% of first preference votes but only returned a single MEP a reduction in representation of two MEs from the previous term. This was due to a combination of the party's vote further dropping in Dublin and a two-candidate strategy in the Midlands Northwest constituency, which backfired, resulting in sitting MEP Pat the Cope Gallagher losing his seat. On June 23, 2014, returning MEP Brian Crowley announced that he intended to sit with the European Conservatives and Reformists, ECR rather than the Aldi group during the upcoming eighth term of the European Parliament. The following day on June 24, 2014 Crowley had the Fianna Foyle party whip withdrawn. He has since been re-added to Fianna Foyle's website. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.